Hi, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements. We've got essentially a finished movie. Uh, not only do we have the movie edited on our timeline, we've also added our little green scene markers because our plan is to output this as a DVD or even a Blu-ray disc. And if we go over to the Tools menu on the toolbar, and select movie menu you see we've already added a movie menu now if you want to know how to add scene markers and how to add a movie menu to your video we've got tutorials for how to do that on our website of course but I'd like to show you how to modify or actually take your movie menu to the next level now you notice a number of the menu templates have what's called a drop zone in them and that is a little area in here where it says add your media here now if your background is selected which means none of these other elements are selected, but the entire background is selected. You can add media to these drop zones simply by going to Browse over here on the Adjustments panel and locating a video clip. Now you notice that there's a filter built into a number of these templates. In this case, this filter makes this look like an old black and white movie. So don't be surprised if it's black and white, even though the original video is in color. And we have the option of either playing the video as a loop, or if we go over here on the adjustments panel, selecting the option to use a still frame from the movie. And if we select the option to use a still frame, we can scrub across these numbers here and pick out which frame we're going to use. And by the way, we can resize that also by grabbing onto the corners and dragging them in and dragging the video into whatever position we want. Now, if we were to play it as is, we would hear the audio from that video. In most cases, what you would like is for your menu to have other music playing in the background. To do that, add the audio by going over here to the Adjustments panel and clicking on Browse, and we can go over to our, some of our music and select some nice music to drop in there. Now, let's preview what this menu page looks like by clicking on the preview disk button but let me warn you in advance a lot of people are kind of shocked when they see the preview because what you're seeing is a low quality preview this is not what your final disk is going to look like we're simply previewing the navigation in fact the video may even play a little bit jumpy if you've got video dropped into that drop zone let's see what it looks like let's click on preview disk So you can see it's kind of an ugly preview, uh, but at least we get an idea of what it looks like. I'm going to just, just going to turn off use still frame and see what it looks like when we play it as a video. You can see it looks very jumpy, fuzzy. Don't worry about that. Like I say, the point of the preview is to preview how it's going to look in general and more so how you can preview the navigation what happens when you click on what. Now, without changing any of these menu background settings, I'm going to swap in a different menu theme. So I click on menu themes, and I'm going up here to the slideshow themes because this particular theme, pan and zoom, is one that has no other elements in it. In other words, when I click on it and select it, you notice that my background fills the screen. There's nothing there except some text and the background. So if I want to create a menu that only has my video playing in the background and text for navigation, that's the way to do it. Now the reason this video looks like it's inset in there, in other words it looks like it's sort of letterboxed, is because it's a, a standard resolution video and the project itself is a high definition project. So it's been kind of like uh, letterboxed in there, it's sort of floating in there. In most cases if you drop a high definition video into a high definition project it's going to fill the screen completely but let's look at what the preview looks like once again it's kind of jerky playback and it's not real high quality but you can see how the video behaves differently or how things behave differently depending on the template you use and the drop zone so if we go here to menu templates you see sometimes the drop zone is in a little area in the center of the templates here and sometimes these drop zones are incorporated into the design of the DVD menu itself. It's kind of fun to play with, but this is a great way to take your basic DVD menu and then customize it. Now, if you want to know more about how to do some of these high level things, I hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything, that this program can do, be sure to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. 
available at Amazon.com and, of course, right here at the Movie Pick Store. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.